And what is going on, everybody? I'm Secretly Toasty here, and today we're playing some more Pixel Car Racer. Today, we are doing something that might infuriate some muscle car elitists. And you'll understand what I mean in just a moment. Obviously, you've already seen the side of it. So you could probably piece two and two together. But uh, just in case you're not catching on, I'm just going to continue and you'll catch on from there. Do, do, do. All right, just uh, just putting together a Camaro. Nothing too crazy. We've all uh, we've all seen some pretty powerful Camaros, especially drag Camaros. You know, that's exactly what we're building today is a drag Camaro. But this isn't just any any drag Camaro. No, 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 no. Now, as you can see, up in the corner. Camaro spelled with a K, and that's because we're putting a K20 in there. I understand there's a, I understand there's a spoon engine in here, and I do have it. And I understand I uh, wrapped this thing in spoon. The only reason I'm not putting spoon is because if you look at it directly, it's a B20, not a K20. And you know, the K for Camaro, it just fit. So that's why we're doing it. So. We're going to toss that in the rear and that up front. So that way the rear tire looks a little bit fatter. Obviously we got to put the, uh, put the nitrous big old tur or there, big old turbo, lower it down. Obviously you got to tune that so it doesn't drag. Got to put them slicks on. Upgrade those brakes so that way we can stop and toss as much power into this thing as possible. I mean, as much power. Because it's one thing to get gapped by a by a Camaro. It's another one to get gapped by a K-series swapped Camaro. Let's see how much this thing is actually making. Without, without the spray, obviously. Obviously, VTEC hits. 2,200 horsepower. Out of a K-Series. Shoved inside of a Camaro. That spits flames. That is gnarly. So let's take it to the drag strip. Manual, quarter mile, and day. Let's go. It's funny, even the even the dash says type R. That's pretty cool. What did we get? Six second quarter mile at 195 miles an hour. Let's uh let's see what we can do in the mile drag. Free roam, manual, mile, day, let's go. Already gonna be gapping a uh, muscle car, muscle car elitist right here with this old Corvette. As much as I love muscle cars, this build is rather cool. at 250 miles an hour. 254 miles an hour. That is insane. Let's do that one more time, but this time with the nitrous at the end of the run. 
See if we can go a little bit faster. I'm not looking for time, I'm looking for speed, because I know I'm gonna win. This thing is just too fast not to win. So I don't care about time, I just care about fi finish line speed. Nitrous. Spray. Two hundred and fifty five miles an hour. So we gained a singular mile per hour. Which doesn't sound like a lot until you realize you're going from two hundred and fifty four to two hundred and fifty five miles an hour. So you're already hooking and booking. Now, let's see how fast we can go on the street. Open up that crate I just got. And, uh, yeah. Finish off the video. Let's take this thing to Japan. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go bully some GTRs. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. I've already gone all the way around the speedometer. Hit the nitrous again, because it rebuilds. 270 miles an hour. That is, that is insane. What was my final, 275? 277. Gosh, I was partying. That was insane. Ooh, nice wheel. Oh, that was actually really nice. You know what? Just for, uh, just for, sh just for S and giggles. Let's toss that spoon engine in. Or actually, what was, it? what was it making before? Let's go check the dino real quick, because obviously you guys are going to be able to go rewind and remember what it was. I don't remember, so I'm going to just do this real quick. So just uh, skip ahead, just a couple seconds. 2256, alright. Now for the spoon engine. Twenty two fifty six is what we're looking to beat here today. Twenty-four oh nine. All right. Now in the street race, we got two seventy-seven, and in the mile drag we got two fifty-five. So let's see if we can beat that. Okay. Bone Emmanuel. Let's go Colorado this time, day, and let's go. Ooh, beating up some supercars. Okay. just to make sure he doesn't get behind me and draft because there's a weird thing with this game where if they stay in your lane and they're behind you, no matter how fast you're going and how much more power you have, you'll still end up losing the race. I have no idea how that works. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention to speed. 280 something? 285! New high score! That is the fastest I've gone in this game. It's 285 in the... I guess now it's a B series, the B20 Camaro. That is a spoon powered Camaro doing the fastest speed I've done in the game. Mind you, I don't modify and I don't do any transmission gearing. I don't change any of that. So just sheer power alone, this thing was the fastest at 285. Let's see what it can do in the mile. I already know this thing's gonna be insane. 
And what is that, Alancha? Lancia? Lancia? However you pronounce that? This thing's wicked nuts. Over 10,000 RPM. Yeah, it's super quick. This thing is wicked nasty. Yep, 260. Because we were, what, 255 before? So still not my fastest, but gosh, is this thing quick. That is insane. Absolutely insane. So anyways, I guess that's the uh, best way to end this video. If you like, if you leave, yeah. If you like the video, leave a like. If you dislike the video, leave a dislike. Tell me down in the comment section why you like to dislike the video. Talk to me down in the comment section. I love talking to you guys. You guys are awesome. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon to be notified when I post videos. I'm trying to post every Sunday and Wednesday, so watch out for that. Uh, yeah, and I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.